Hi everyone, Anthony here from Level Up Your Teaching. Thank you very much for coming here today because this is the very first video of the new school year. Today, we're going to look at the advanced features of Big Blue Button. So this video is for you out there who have already got a good grasp of how Big Blue Button works and you would like to expand on that. But before we do that, I'd like to let you know about my new project. It's a website which is called levelupyourteaching.com and this is where I'm going to upload resources and teaching material as well as some downloadable content for all of you, the teachers out there. So make sure you check it out and please do send me an email and let me know what you thought about it. Back to our video, today we're going to look at three different things. We're going to see how to create and manage breakout rooms. Then we're going to check how to manage security rights and finally, how to create and publish polls. So without further ado, let's go. So as we say, we're going to start off with the breakout rooms. So the first thing that you need to do is go on and click that gear button on the left hand side. As you can see, I have four students in order to demonstrate the breakout rooms to you. So let's go on and click that gear button and then click create breakout rooms. Now this will take us into a separate window. This is the breakout rooms window and we have a few different choices here. The most important is how many rooms we would like to create. We can create between two to eight. And as you can see by clicking four, for example, here, the available rooms increase. Let's go back to two because we have four students. The next one is the duration, which means how long you want your students to stay in the breakout rooms before they close. You can change that either by either using the up or down arrow over here or the plus or minus button right next to it. Now the most important button is the randomly assigned because this will let Big Blue Button choose which students will go to each room and it will always put the same number of students in each room. So now we have four available students which means I will put two in room number one and another two in room number two. So let's go on and click it and as you can see Nick and Amy are in one group, Chris and Mary are in another. Now, if you click again, you will see that it will change the students. Now, if you want to do it manually, what you have to do is just drag and drop. Very simple. So let's go now and put all the students back into the main room. And I would like to have one male and one female student in each team, in each room. So I'll put Amy and Nick in room number one and then Chris and Mary in room number two. I'm going to set the duration to 10 minutes and then click create. And as you can see, a new option has appeared on my left hand side, breakout rooms. Now you see that in both room number one and room number two, over here it says zero. This is because the students haven't joined the room yet. So let's go on and have the students actually join the room so that you see how this changes. So here I've created four students. Now the students previously were just seeing the normal big blue, uh, big blue button screen. But now they got this message whether to join or not the room. So we're going to go on and click join for student number one. The same for student number two for student number three and four. Now, I'm not sure if you realized it, but Big Blue Button opens a new window for the breakout rooms. So as you can see, I had four windows here, four tabs. Now I have eight because the breakout room are in a different room, a window, a different tab. So here we got Mary and Chris and in the other room, it should be this one, is it? This one, yeah, Nick and Amy. Now let's go back to the presenter. As you can see now, 
over here in room number one and room number two says two people. That's because they both joined the room. Let's go on and join one of them. Again, a new tab appears and I will go through the same uh, uh, audio settings. I will have to set my microphone and my headphones, which I'm not going to do for now. Now, what's really interesting is that I can join both rooms. If I go back to the main room, I can also click join room number two. So if the students are doing a um, writing task which in, in which they're using the whiteboard and they're not talking, then I can monitor both students, both groups at the same time, which I believe it's amazing. Now, if I want to close the rooms, what I have to do is just close the tabs and that will take me back into the main room and from there end all breakout rooms. Now both rooms are closed. The second thing I want to show you are the security rights. So if we go on and click manage users again, but now click lock viewers, you will see that we have some different features as Big Blue Button calls them. And on the right, whether they are locked or unlocked. For example, send public chat messages and send private chat messages are both locked. If let's say you want to unlock both of them, you'll just click here and click apply. Now I usually, I don't usually let my students send private chat messages. So I always like to keep that one locked. So I'll click lock again and then apply. And that easily you can change the security rights. I suggest you have a look on all the different ones and if you need any help please ask me in the comment section below but it is very simple as that. So let's go and click apply again. Now the last thing that I want to show you were polls. As you can see here I've put together a short presentation and on the second slide I have a question. Is training for teaching online necessary for every teacher. Now, if we go on and click that plus icon here on the left and click on the first option, which says start a poll, we'll be taken into a new window. So over here, we have a few different options for our polls. What kind of poll would you like it to be? A yes or no, a true or false, a multiple choice with two options, A or B, with three options, with four or five, or even a custom poll. Now for this question that I've posed, the yes or no or true or false are quite suitable. But let's go on and see how we can create a custom poll. So over here, you'll see that we're giving five different options for our custom poll. We don't have to use all five of them though. I'm going to create a Likert scale poll. So totally agree. Agree, neither agree or disagree, disagree, totally disagree. And now I'm going to click start custom poll. And as you can see, I've got the results of the poll. Now the students at this time will get a little window right here on the right with the five different options and they can choose whichever they prefer. At the same time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see the results in real time. Every time somebody votes, my results over here will change. And when I'm happy and, make, and I've made sure that everyone has voted, I can click publish. And as you can see right here, it will show to everyone the results. And what's really nice that is that even if I move from one slide to another, the results will still stay there. It's part of your presentation, it's part of your slide. So if let's say you're moving on with something else and you want to refer back to that result, then you can go back to the now to slide number two in this case and show the result to the students. So that's all that I wanted to show you and let's get back. Those of you who've been following my channel, you know already that this is a second video I create for Big Blue Button and there's a very good reason for it. 
Big Blue Button is an open source and free software that anyone can use without spending any money. Now that makes it a very powerful tool. And especially right now that most of us have gone online and some of us are even freelance teachers. So even with its limitations, I believe it's a very strong candidate among the other freemium and premium choices. So that's all for me. Thanks a lot for watching my video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.